Hey everyone and welcome back to my little workshop and today we're going to be taking a look at this sergeant here. Definitely a hand done uh, six pinner. The key has been ground back. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Well, if I stayed in frame there. But uh, there's the keyway. So pretty wide open. I can reach in there with just about anything. And this one was made by Texas Jim. Sent to me by Mr. Bill Bacardi. Still had some locks left in that big old bag of locks he sent. So I figured I'd just dive in there and pick one out. And this is what I grabbed. Not the first lock out of there I grabbed today. Uh, the first lock I grabbed out of there today was actually uh, one from another good buddy. Pinned by a BLP60. It's called like Area 51 Experiment or something. Man, I spent like 40 minutes on that lock tonight and got nowhere. So, let's see what we can do. Maybe I can use uh, this uh, awesome pick that uh, West Coast Picks sent me. It's a little tall, so I didn't have a really good uh, lock to try it on yet. Okay, there's something with pin three. Okay, back to the front. Okay, just a little bit off of one. I didn't really want to push it too much, but it is kind of hanging here now, so. Pin two. Pin three. Pin four now. Let's pin five and pin six. I'm sliding off too much with that pick right now. I might have to flatten the top of that a little bit to be something more that I'm used to. But let's uh, go ahead and give it a quick start over and I'm gonna go in with uh, this deep look that I made. Come on six. I think six might be good now. Okay, two might be good now. Lots of crunching going on in this lock. Very, very crunchy. I'd imagine probably everything is serrated. Well, since it's a Texas gym lock, I'm gonna bet on it. Okay, gotta click on just about everything. Okay, I just barely bumped one. Put me into a false set. And that was pin two. There. I thought pin two would have more to give me. Based off of that key that we saw there. Is 
a little click from one, a little, little click from two. I might even need a taller pick than that. Let's get in here with something a little bit on the extreme side. One of my crazy diamonds. Okay, there's a nice click out of two. Nothing on three. Nothing on four. Shouldn't be anything on five. Pin six is hanging in there pretty tight. Not getting any love out of that pin. All right, back to it. Tiny click out of three. Nothing out of four. Nothing out of five. All right, let's try to rotate six back a little bit. Ooh, that didn't take much. Pin three, okay. Okay, I got quite a bit out of pin three there. Two. Okay, that pick is now too extreme for the lock. So let's go with another one. Okay, that was pin four. And another click off of four. Tiny click off of five. And nothing on six. So pin two. Five clicks on two. <laughs> Maybe that's too much. Maybe it's not. Okay, a little click from five. I've got some counter on five now, but uh, I'll test pin six four. Okay, here's pin five. Okay. That was pin two again. Pin two might be a little bit of a gatekeeper here. Okay, a little click out of one. And I've got nothing right now, so let's go with something uh, something on the extreme side again. That was pin four. Not really sure what's happening now. I think pin four might be overset. Try to drop it. Okay, I dropped a couple of pins there.
Ooh-wee, man. God, I love these Texas gym locks. I mean, I just had a really, really hard lock, and now I've got another pretty hard lock <laughs> sitting right in front of me. Can't get underneath the six with that one. That's a little too tall. That one fit right in there, though. Let's stick with this pick for a minute. That was pin two. Yeah, I'm in a full set now. Let's pin five. Okay, let's go in here with this extreme pick again. This is a another one of my very deep hooks. Okay, got a little bit of feeling on pin two. A little bit out of four. Then I was stuck on six again. Come on, pin six. There we go. Something's happening finally. Maybe. I finally pin one's binding. This thing is in a pretty deep fall set at this point. That was chamber two. That was five. I a couple clicks from six. Now it's pin two. Oh, man. This lock has given me a workout just like the one I just tried to pick. Maybe I can go ahead and start building up a bed of excuses. Yeah, this is a sergeant. <laughs> oh, crap, I'm out of excuses. Ah, and I finally got it open. Oh, man, <laughs> what a lock. <laughs>
Uh, let's see what we have inside of this bad boy. Gotta love the first attempts that take forever. But finally, it was pin six that gave up the goat, and I was able to get into it. All right, so this has a one of those on it. Uh, let's see if my El Cheapos can take that off. I almost lost it. Okay. I'll definitely need a shim on this one. If I can get it started. That is going in there tight, my friends. It's not two shims, is it? Nope, just one. Just going to slowly wiggle it in until it stops. Yeah, I think it stopped. All right, so we're going to grab a standard plug follower. Let's grab my one with the hollow end. That was a little tight. All right, we can definitely see all the pins in there, and it doesn't look like everything is uh, threaded. So, it's like the only ones that have threads is chambers two, three, and six, which is actually a little bit of a surprise on the Texas Gym Lock. Most of the ones I've picked of his have been completely threaded, and I've picked a lot of Texas Gym Locks. Okay, let's go ahead and dump out the top. Let's take a look. Okay, that one was like that. And it was in a threaded chamber. It looks like those two springs are the same, so let's go ahead and dump the springs too. Little short guys. Chamber two is also threaded. Chamber three is threaded. Another really short spring. Chamber four. And it's threaded. Another little bitty spring. No wonder this thing was being so rough on me. Not a lot of spring tension. And when you've developed kind of a heavy hand when doing challenge locks, uh, Coming to one that doesn't have a lot of spring tension, it'll throw you off a little bit. Okay, that spring's not coming out. And that spring's not coming out. Alright, so Texas Gym made us a pretty awesome lock here, fellas. Let's go ahead and zoom in on these pins. And take a look. And yeah, everything in the top was threaded. Okay. So I've got a spooled key pin, a serrated key pin, a, another serrated key pin, a very serrated key pin, a spooled key pin with a serration, and a spooled key pin. All right, so here at the top, we've got a two serrations. Then I've got two serrations and a spool. I've got uh, a double spool. And we've got another double spool. And another double spool. 
and one that's very serrated. Uh, springs, pretty much everything in there is really short springs. Uh, a couple of those pins were just barely hanging out above the uh, shear line once I was gutting it. And, uh, well, a light spring tension makes for a fun lock, I tell you that much. Anyway, guys, thanks for hanging in with me on this really long video. I appreciate it a whole lot. Uh, Bill Bacardi, thank you very much for sending me those locks. I really appreciate it, man. Um, everything that you've done for me and for the community, big thumbs up right there. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, everybody, please stay safe. Don't do anything illegal. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you see a lock out there in the wild and you don't have the key for it, leave it alone.